Let's see. Ash, um, do you think there should be other... I, I know I want to do other uh, Double D Plays videos, you know, my own version of Let's Play. Um, what other games do you think I should do? You think I'd... I'm, I'm thinking about doing Dead Space, but with it being as gory as it is, it, it, it's kind of, you know, untempting to do it, you know? Yeah, it's a bit close to the bone. Um, okay. Dead Rise. No, hang on. <laughs> I got because they have a. Uh, yeah. I try. I tried it. I, uh, for those of you watching the video who don't know, I tried to do a like a um, a gameplay video of the uh, the Case Zero, which is like kind of like the prequel to Dead Rising Two, and apparently there are copyrights all over the thing. So. Uh, uh, Music and all that. I'm guessing. No, some people do it and they, they just don't care about the copyrights. For me, if I get like a copyright thing, uh, I, I take it off. You know? I don't want to get the channel flagged or anything like that. I have no words for this. I know what you're thinking. Uh. I'm a god. I don't need life insurance. But just think of your friends, your loved ones. If they're like the me, you probably pray every day for your death. You don't want it to get flags when you just said that. <laughs> Hello, YouTube. <laughs> oh, great. I got another... No, another devour... Shit. That's another one of those devour bosses. Did you see it on the on the, uh, the other video? I ha I, it's, it's up there. Shoot. I, yeah. I got a... I got a clear... Nasty little thing. Nasty little thing. That thing's humongous. I gotta. There's also like several other enemies I gotta worry about along with that stupid thing. Just defeating it by itself was a bitch. Now I gotta worry about this thing. This is a side quest, too. This is a side quest? Oh, you're in trouble. Side quest. Monster. Thank God when I'm injured, I can quickly heal myself through the power of electricity. Shocking. Now, that doesn't mean, boys and girls, you should go out and try to absorb electricity yourself. It will not work for you. Well, it will work for you in some respects. You'll end up dead. Yeah. It won't heal you or give you superpowers. But you'll fucking light up like a Christmas tree. And the Devourer is defeated. The way I had to kill it, I had to shoot it in the mouth. <laughs> Thank God he said that. Oh, I did. All right. <laughs> All right. Time to get a blast shard. You did the right thing. So I'm playing the harmonica quite nicely.
Next mission, Stories of the Past. Better watch those feet. Gators aren't the worst thing in the water these days. Too bad. Nice day for a skinny dip. Ooh. Go right ahead. I'm not stopping you. Oh, Colm McGrath's a pervert. You want to tell me what this is all about? Pervert. about them. It must have been rough. It's a whole other world. Only people I ever knew were these and crazies. And poor like you never seen. My mom was all that. Used to be. I know there are skins and new what happened costumes and, and, and weapons I can get for really, really cheap off of uh, PSX. That's what I'm going to show you. Yeah, at least, uh... The I saw the samurai sword. An electrified samurai First, sword. we gotta get you a boat. And these good old boys, they got a real nice boat. I'm, I'm just unleashing the ionic vortex and just sucking them into like an electronic pit of hell. That girl with her, with her own set of powers, that fire powers, uh, she kind of falls into the same boat as Melina. She's kind of hot, the way you admit her, but she's also kind of nuts. Shanish, can you trust her? To be honest with you, I don't know yet. Actually, you told me before we started recording that you had a a, Cold, baby. a crazy story that you found. Which one? Yeah, <laughs> good question. Uh, just pick one and run with it. As far as I'm concerned. Um, okay, we'll get the superhero one first. Yeah, if you thought the story of Kickass was not real. Well, I hate to disprove, but you're wrong. Because Seattle, Washington has its own superhero. <coughs> yeah. A self-styled superhero known as Phoenix Jones has been unmasked in the Seattle core as he wants to see if he's charged with a pepper spray attack. Police say that Phoenix Jones, real name Benjamin Fodor, attacked four people who had left a Seattle nightclub. As the court hearing ended, he tore off a dress shirt to reveal his black and yellow superhero costume. Prosecutors said they hadn't yet decided whether to file charges, but Fodor vowed to continue crime, fight crime fighting. The 23 year old who leads the Rain City superhero movement says he was trying to break up a fight. 
The club girls insisted they weren't fighting. I will continue to patrol with the team, maybe tonight. I am just like everybody else, the only difference is that I try to stop crime. During the hearing, a court officer asked Jones to remove his mask. He did so, but then put it back on to speak with the reporters. Uh, apparently, the police are not as likely to be calling on him to help keep the city safe. If people want to dress up and walk around, knock yourself out. Our concern is when you insert yourself into the situation without knowing the facts. It's not a smart thing to do. Apparently, a police report says there's been increased reports of citizens being pepper sprayed by the would-be superhero and his group. Although Phoenix has been advised to observe and report incidents police, he continues to try and resolve things on his own, apparently. Which is nice. Oh. Now we're going on a boat ride in the bayou. Go on the bayou. Tell you what, uh, those of you who didn't watch Game Chambers TV, they were doing a giveaway on uh, some new uh, earphones, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 earphones. I did, I did follow G, uh, GT TV show, and I did send out the hashtag, you know, saying I would love to win, you know, hashtag GT TV MW3, and you know, if I win, it'll be pretty cool. If, if, if I don't, uh, yeah, there's no sweat off my bra, but they were cool looking earphones. <laughs> Punch him. You see what you've done, Game Trailers? You're making him punch midget. You idiots. Actually, I cannot confirm or deny that he punches midget. They say how many they were giving away? They did not. Oh. What if everybody gets them? <laughs> it'd be pretty cool. Yeah, but then it'll be like, oh, it doesn't seem as impressive now. I thought I was getting a prize. It turned out it was just a mail order. I'm as shocked as you are. Oh, here's the other story. Oh, Billy knows what I'm talking about. He knows where I'm going. It's time to go to Florida. An 81-year-old man, well, at the time he was 76 when these crimes were done, but this 76-year-old man in 2006 was charged with three counts of sexual battery, two counts of practicing medicine without a license, two counts of simple battery, and one count of using the title of doctor without a license. You may be wondering, how the hell did this happen? Well, uh, Philip Winkioff, his name, no joke, God. he, according to police, posed as a door-to-door -door physician and duped two women into having their breasts examined. Wow. Now, 
I'm for he was carrying yeah. this. Yeah. This is the full story. He was carrying a black doctor's bag and went to an apartment complex in Lauderdale Lakes. The phony doctor knocked on a unit belonged to a 36 year old woman. He allegedly said that he was visiting on behalf of a local hospital. And he said he was in the neighborhood offering free breast exams. The unwitting patient let him into the apartment and he began the exam. After touching her chest, he moved an ungloved hand towards her lower region and further molested her. Sus suspecting that she wasn't, suspecting that this guy wasn't a real doctor, she then contacted the sheriff's office. When deputies arrived, he'd already left. But, instead of fleeing the area, he found a 33-year-old woman who lived in the same apartment complex, who pretty much gave her the same story. Deputies later located him and took him into custody. Hey man, I saw some moving on the far shore. Oh, great. And the image of him is just as crazy. <laughs> but you'll probably have to search for it. But it was funny. Oh shoot, a high lord, yay. Yeah, these were just as much fun to do. Nice. God, this is even weirder. Oh, new tweet, new tweet from game trailers. Oh, oh, oh! All the winners, plural, will be announced and notified tomorrow. Oh, so we gotta wait. Yeah. Serves you right. Apparently they have other Modern Warfare 3 swag to give away. So keep an eye on their Twitter because apparently they, last week they did some special things over the Friday. And again you only tweet once. An Egyptian man who looks like Saddam Hussein says a gang of Iraqi kidnappers tried to force him to act in a porno film. <laughs> I think, I think the word you were trying to say there, Billy, was what? What the fuck? Okay. After refusing a $330,000 offer to place Hussein in a sex tape, which was purportedly planned to be sold to the media as an authentic recording of Saddam Hussein, Mohammed Bashir said that three men in black suits attempted to abduct him as he walked into a cafe in Alexandria. The three men who had guns hanging from their belts forced me out of my car and shoved me into a van, hitting my head. For some reason they began arguing with each other, the abductors, and tossed him out of the vehicle. Before the kidnapping, he received threatening calls urging him to change his mind and take part in the film. Hussein and his sons were known to use body doubles, but no porno films featuring Saddam always looked like have ever been uncovered. However, the kidnappers weren't the first group to consider making a fake sex tape. While plotting ways to destabilize Saddam before the invasion of Iraq, the CIA considered making a hoax video featuring a lookalike having sex with a teenage boy. Oh, are you serious? Apparently so. It would have looked like it was been taken by a hidden camera, very grainy, like it was a secret videotaping. So there you go, even the CIA were thinking of some sick fucking things. <laughs> Apparently Stacy Keebler is still with um Mr. Clooney. Well done. I'm liking <coughs> I'm in a 
big events that happened at the UFC last week, if you didn't catch it. Um, Sonnen, who won pretty easy in his fight, he actually called out Anderson Silva, who is the cover guy for the new UFC game, who is basically considered the best UFC fighter that there is at the minute. And the interesting thing is, Sonnen said, if he loses the match against Anderson Silva, he will leave UFC forever. Apparently last week, John Bradshaw Layfield met Tony Blair. Mean of the minds. So where are we now, Billy? Still fight. Hey, hold on. Is a boss. Like a boss. Like a boss. Like a hot cross of them. Get out of the water, get out of the water, get out of the water. Can I find a power source? Can I find a power source? <laughs> I'm fucked, I am fucked, I am grenades and turn into energy sticky grenades cool. and I was able to get that thing that sure as hell was not fun
What the hell was that thing? Never stuck around to get a look. Anyhow, we here. The wheel shows up ahead on foot. Hmm. Nix was dead quiet as she led the way. Her name is Nix. Right out onto... I couldn't believe it. A little slice of Empire City. Through a pained voice, Nix described what had happened here. She told me about Bertrand with the ray sphere and a ring of outcasts. Bertrand had a ray sphere? Swamp dwellers, anybody whose death he thought would go unnoticed. Nix watched as her family was swallowed up in the blast. The ray sphere is what gave Cole his powers. Ah. Apparently, she watched as her family. Her family got swallowed up in her body capable of absorbing the ray sphere and unleashing her powers. Same Apparently Nyx is a conduit just like a just friend. like a Cole. Apparently that agent. And that guy Bertrand is a conduit. Stop thinking about it. If Nyx at the edge of the blast was made into such a powerhouse. What about Bertrand? The guy at the dead center. 